Hey guys, this is Enfreeze Deer. Hey, with Fan Nintendo 98, we're back with another episode of Let's Play Legend of the Star Wars Sword. Last time, we. Uh, let's see, we got the Goddess Sword here. And. We got our shield, and now we're gonna go save Zelda from the land below. Okay, so this is gonna be the first time we can actually just roam around. What is it, dude? Oh, what is it? No crap. Are you serious? I, I know that. Let's go. Dive off the ledge. I, I, I know how to call my lost wing. I'm wearing the nice clothes. Come on. Or he. You're that much of a noob and haven't played for like uh, no, forever. I'm not gonna call my bird! Never mind. You do that, you just. Uh, get picked up from some dude or girl. No, not during the day. But if you dive off, that's not that, that's not what happens. If you just like fall off, like from a diving off a landing pad or not a landing pad, a diving pad, then it will actually. Be Press jump is there. We're gonna kill it before you. Come on, light. I know that. Yeah, the game. We went game. over this, me. I think that she's the most annoying character in this series. Like, people say that Navi's annoying because, like, hey, hey, listen! But I, I think she's more annoying. Like, B doesn't really say anything like, hey, listen, stuff like that. It's just like during cutscenes, it's so annoying. <laughs> When I fall through the clouds, I don't yell. I sing on my way down. Oh, God, French! <laughs> that looks fun. <laughs> Doesn't that? I just let you know around those areas, you don't actually have to press the B button. It goes automatically. Ah, uh, that that was a reflex. <laughs> okay, I press the button. It's from like playing Resident Evil, probably. We've arrived. Oh, so really? This is the fabled surface that has long been part of Skylock Legends. By my, my, my calculations, we are currently positioned in the location known as the Sith Grounds. Okay, that's good. What field? I just drew a new land. Um, if you guys haven't already noticed, the tablet that we got earlier from the last episode is part of a map that we just got here to. Like, watch, I'll press start real quick and show you the map. Like okay, so, when you zoom out, this the area where we're in, um, from the column of light and then to the right of it. That's all that the map shows us right now. <laughs> Probably if we get more tablets, we get more. Looks like we can save but. That's not yeah. yeah. Oh, look! Uh, I'm pretty sure you can let me this game. Yep, pick it. Okay, so basically, um, depending on the way in which the mountain is open, you have to cut in that direction. Or. Uh, you should be either vertically or horizontally. And it keeps the analysis from me when I last put it. Oh wow, I would be There you go. <laughs> or you can do it the classic way that you Ow. bring out your shield, you block it, strike, and then start standing up like hey. Why am I failing in the first five minutes of this video? Because you suck! I have information. I have the ability to offer information. I just used your information! You failure! Okay, okay. Or you can do the classic way that you do a shield bash and then it does that. It's not a classic way. Yeah. What are you talking about? Okay, just like just stunning him. No period of time, you don't shield bash the guy. Uh oh, battery low, battery low, battery low. Oh no, the scene is changing because the battery is low. He's like, oh no, let me see my battery. <laughs> I'll probably grab some after this. 
fucking graphics, despite the lack of voice actors. That's because this game is epic. It does not need voice actors. Link is the silent hero. Why don't we we'll make everyone else talk when it's the pen? That would that. be so mean that everyone's talking and it's all like, I'm abused. <laughs> <laughs> My face! My face! Like, what's the thing wrong with his head? You saw that? <laughs> that didn't even like eat him. Just kind of like I show you my thing. Yeah, look over my chin. Is there pimples? There pimples? No. <laughs> it's actually what he did right there. I kind of want to go down there now. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did I have him boost the acting? I don't know. Oh, hey, look! That sign right there, that's the Sheikah sign. And there's Triforces. No, not Triforces, those are just Triforces. Well, it looks like a Triforce with that little dot or whatever. <laughs> well, these doors appear to have been opened recently, they are now sealed shut by for a while. You think I'm stupid, Faye? Yeah. It's because you're a robot, isn't it? Master, the battery is in your Wii <laughs> remote was nearly depleted! <laughs> Look, yeah, I forget. Am I supposed to go down there? Yeah. Oh, the good thing is about since you have that that, that sail cloth, that you don't have to run all the way down, so... That... We know about the sail cloth right here. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm saying it's the good... I'm saying that's the good thing, having the sail cloth right here. Yeah. I'm not sure who was talking about it, I'm just making it more noise. Freeze the soul of the world. It's got to be taking the aura of unleashed power. You want me to unleash the evil aura of power? I think that, that's definitely smart. I think you actually sealed it. It does unleash. It doesn't mean like it brings you out. Uh, okay. That was. Master, I'm sensing a change in the area that was triggered by your scarver shot. I've also detected a core that correlates closely to your safe call. What? Oh, I surmise this area belongs. Uh, or belongs to Velda. I can lead you in the direction of the aura if the process is known as doubt. Would you like to explain the process to me? Nah, I'll explain it myself. Okay, so basically with dowsing, um, you point your sword, and it's kind of like, um, sensing where Zelda is. So, like, um, uh, I take it out, so this is Zelda, and then I just look around and it'll start telling me, like, which direction I need to go. Like, right up there? Yeah, I need to go up there. It doesn't really show you, like, direction, by like path that shows you general direction where you need to head. So basically, basically since you can't go through rock, you should just go all the way to the top. Yeah, it's the Yeah, that kinda like path thing, that that kinda of just reminds me of um like you said a waypoint in uh Dead Islands, like instead of that yeah, instead of like no the thing the way it's right over here, for example. It actually shows you a path, the course of path like a GPS. Uh, I, I guess I didn't um, explain this, but if you go up to any sort of uh, air, I don't know, air what, current, what did you call it? Air yeah, current. current. Yeah, it'll make you fly up with the tail fly, like that. Oh yeah, I can't fly up in the wild. You need? Did you grab any potions? Yeah, I got one potion. You get one. Girl. You get one bo bottle to start with, Richard. It's not like I can do anything about that. <laughs> what I want to know is why is the Sheikah's um uh barrier kind of just stop all of a sudden? That didn't make any sense. Cause they know that they just that there's no evil in them. Guys, we're in the Temple of Time. I don't know. Where is it? I never really figured out where this place is anyway. Like, they're supposed to be the game before Ocarina of Time, right? But I keep on trying to make connections to the next to like Ocarina of Time, but I can't. 
too hard. Oh, I like her hair. Oh, oh, oh. Let's see what's back in the day. Oh, that's traveling from the cloud. I'm not sure about her hair. I will give you Are you sure? I see a braid. And then I see more braids in a circle. Yeah, but I, I, I thought that was just rope. No, that's her hair. Tell me, what yeah. is your name? Jeffrey? Ah, Jeffrey. I said you have already gained control on the sixth power of the building. Sword when point the sky the sky will strike is yours to be. It is proof that you are fit to bear the blade you carry, the God's sword. I have sat here for many years waiting for you to arrive. All so that I could fill my purpose as your God. You stand under the roof of this seal temple, a place built by the gods of the Your arrival here was predestined for many millions of years. The spirit made you seek a rise shortly before you, descending to the fifth land in a shower of light. And no doubt it, the gear is a fate and begun to tear. Yet, all is not as it should be. The spirit maiden was not meant to lose his land in the manner she did. I feel evil power working in the shadows. It moves to warp the destiny of which you two are a part. Jeffrey, mm -hmm. you are concerned for the spirit maiden who's and seek for her whereabouts, yes? It, that is understandable, but for now you must focus on moving forward. That girl has her own purpose she must pursue as you, as do you. She set off for fair and woods to discover that destiny for herself, and you must stop and you must follow. Show me your map. The X on your map marks the path that will lead you to fair and woods. You will be traveling in unfamiliar land, many monsters have settled here, and a map may not prove guide enough for your journey. So I will give you the power to create GTS. When a beacon is marked on your map, a column of light will stand at that location. Okay. Anyway, so vegan they make this column of light show. So that way it's kinda of like a way for you to go. That you know to go. Waypoints are the best. What? I said waypoints are the best. Oh okay. Yo, no, I must go to the world, blah, blah, blah. She unlocked the door with her hair. Is there something about a treasure chest? I don't remember a treasure chest in this room. Yeah, this game has waypoints, but the but it's not like any games in like Assassin's Creed or something. It doesn't have like oh, there is a treasure chest. Oh, I'm just talking about a treasure chest. It doesn't have it doesn't have any um like there's like no map, so we won't see the map. Okay, I think we're going to end it off here right now because we're in 13 minutes. So. Next time on Let's Play Legends of the Skyward Sword, hopefully we'll get somewhere for once. Because we never do. So, see you next time. <laughs>